Public prayer in schools slash prayer in church slash our kids and our children's, who is who teaching who teaching? Proverbs 3 1 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments, two for length of days, and long life, and peace, shall they add to thee. 3 Let not mercy and truth forsake thee, bind them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thine heart, for so shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. 5 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. 6 In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. 7 Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. 8 It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. 9 Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thine increase, 10 So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. 11 My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction, 12 For whom the Lord loveth he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. 13 Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. 14 For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. 15 She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. 16 Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. 17 Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. 18 She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. 19 The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. 20 By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. 21 My son, let not them depart from thine eyes, keep sound wisdom and discretion. 22 So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. 23 Then shalt thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. 24 When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid, yet, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. 25 Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked, when it cometh. 26 For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. 27 Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. 28 Say not unto thy neighbor, Go, and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. 29 Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee. 30 Strive not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. 31 Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. 32 For the froward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. 33 The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. 34 Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. 35 The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Acts 3 1 Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. 2 And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, 3 Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple asked an alms. 4 And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. 5 And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. 6 Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk. 7 And he took him by the right hand, and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Luke 18 And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray, and not to faint, to saying, There was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man, 3 And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. 4 And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, 5 Yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. 6 And the Lord said, 
Hear what the unjust judge saith. 7 And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? 8 I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? 8 And he leaping up stood, and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking, and leaping, and praising God. 9 And all the people saw him walking and praising God. 10 And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. 11 And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. 12 And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk. 13 The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. 14 But ye denied the Holy One and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. 15 And killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. 16 And his name through faith in his name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yet, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. 17 And now, brethren, I wot that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. 18 But those things, which God before had shewed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. 19 Repent ye therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. 20 And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, 21 Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. 22 For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. 23 And it shall come to pass, that every soul, which will not hear that prophet, shall be destroyed from among the people. 24 Ye, yeah, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. 25 Ye yeah, are the children of the prophets, and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. 26 Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities.